Hi, this is Kathy Turner, here for the TMB interview assignment. Sitting next to me is my mom, Irene Jackson. She has been many things in her life besides just being my mom. And one of the things she has done is hold the title of teacher. So what do you think, Mom? You want to pull out some things out of that file cabinet in your brain and share some of these memories with us? Sure. How did you find yourself in this position? How did you prepare for your role as a teacher? Well, we graduated from high school in 1947, and there were four of us. And there was a real shortage of teachers at that time. And they asked if anybody wanted to uh, prepare to be a teacher and uh, uh, go that route. So we said, sure. So we immediately enrolled in summer school, went to summer school, we went uh, just about a year to school, got our teaching certificate, and taught, um, taught the next year. Um, that was in uh, 48 uh, and 49. Where was this? This was in Britt, Iowa. Obviously, you didn't have computers or anything like that. <laughs> no. So, what kind of tools and equipment did you uh, use? Uh, we used uh, lots of books, paper, pencils. Uh, there was a, uh, a little copy, kind of a handheld, hand-done copy machine that we could, that we could um, kind of stencil pictures and different things to make for uh, kids to do and uh, work on. What preparations did you make every morning? Good morning. I, uh, went to school, opened it up, swept the floor. In the winter time, it was really tough because we had, I had to uh, uh, start the furnace with a coal furnace, heat up the place before the children would come. We got things ready then for the next day. Then I sat down at my desk and, and had to make the plans and got the lesson plans and things done for the next day. You've watched education change a lot over the years. If children went through the educational system. Grandchildren are going through it now, and pretty soon your great grandchildren will be entering the school system. Everybody talks about what's changed. What do you see, if anything, that's remained constant? Um, well, lesson plans of uh, getting homework and going home and doing it, handing it in the next day, that hasn't changed. But so many other things have changed. We had no computers. We had no uh, extra tools. We had just just the basics. Just just learning from the good books that we had, and we had good history books and geography books and math books. And um, uh, I would say that. Uh, A lot has changed, of course, and the respect that children had. They were much more respectful then than they are today. But I guess that's just good with the times. Times, they are changing. Yes. So what advice would you give to teachers today? Hang in there. Just do the best you can because you are doing a wonderful service. Children need good teachers. And that is just the most important thing I can say is that teach them well, teach them the truth, and uh, make sure that they do their work. Sounds like good advice. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. You're welcome. <laughs>